Right Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Ministers, Resident Coordinator of uh, the One New UN, esteemed panelists, distinguished partners, ladies and gentlemen, young men and women, Ingeniewebun. Um, I'm very happy to see you all here today. Welcome back to the many of you and uh, carry on to the new ones. Carry on to uh, Imutos. Our very own version of uh, a happy hour where well, it's not about drinks but rather about inviting you, our young people, to have a conversation about uh, our future your role, your participation, your, your responsibilities, you name it, in the building of our country. This uh, shouldn't be uh, too heavy to carry. I trust the speakers and the panelists will make it cool as uh, we wind up a busy day as they give us different tips on uh, how to navigate this world. So please make yourselves comfortable don't hold back, everything will be on the house. <laughs> Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, uh, today, today's Youth Forum series themed Beyond This Moment 2.0 is, uh, is one that we are bringing back as we are coming to the end of uh, this particular year of uh, 2017. Allow me to start by uh, thanking our speakers and uh, panelists for accepting to join us, to join this important conversation, as we feel they embody what we wish for our Rwandan youth to not only understand, but also adopt in their everyday lives as they contribute to the betterment of our society. Indeed, the purpose of uh, this, this Youth Forum series, which Imbuto Foundation started in uh, 2007 as part of uh, our youth empowerment and mentorship program is to positively engage, educate, and empower our young people. Like the previous uh, forum, we are here to further emphasize to our young men and women the importance of uh, playing their part in the, in the direction of this country by taking on leadership roles whether they are still pursuing their education, have entered the workforce, or are already raising a family. Young men and women, standing here in front of you, takes me back to my younger days, living in an environment that was not mine, in a context drastically different than the one you are experiencing now. As a young, person growing up in the diaspora, many of us did not have the luxury to be spoiled or even take certain basic things for granted. We had little to save or to hold on to, so you can understand that, ironically, the stakes are much higher for you who are enjoying the security of a country you can truly call your own. As you can understand, growing up in that situation leads one to two main choices. You either become desperate to rise above the many challenges that affect you and your community, or you simply give up fighting and let events carry you through life. So my questions to you, uh, young people here today, are, are we, the older generations, telling you enough about what had to be done to get Rwanda to this day. Are you too young to understand the sacrifices that were made for you? Or, last but not least, can you fully comprehend what you stand to lose if you do not fight to preserve it? Esteemed youth, I humbly call on, call, I humbly call on all of you to always think through what you plan to do next, as keeping the end in mind will guide you on seeking excellence and the sustainability of our different achievements. 
be mindful that the kind of losses you will register will differ according to where you are in life as you start thinking of yourself less as a single individual but rather as an entity that only makes sense in a cobweb of aspirations, abilities, and goals for a better future. As you, can, as you start living a purposeful life and are able to make a distinction between living versus existing, you will start acting more responsibly in the choices you make. I hope you give yourself the time to revisit your core and reflect on the principles that guide your life and your values in, a, in your social and professional duties. As indeed, you are never too young to reflect upon what our world needs to be a better and safer place. Distinguished audience, today's gathering is a continuation of the first Beyond This Moment Forum that was held uh, in December 2014. That first edition presented to our guests how to engage with national issues while striving to become well-rounded global thinkers who never forget the importance of holding on to one's pride and dignity. The current events we are witnessing on our continent uh, must push us to understand and demystify what is causing some of our people to become so disillusioned with uh, their own nations, the point of risking their lives in the quest for greener pastures. I humbly believe that we must remain authentic to who we are, strongly rooted in our identity as the children of our land, while learning to adapt to this global world, never afraid to correct what can be improved. We understand that decades of uh, institutionalized discrimination and dehumanization led to the destruction of our society. But we also acknowledge that the rebuilding of this nation was made possible because of uh, the vision of young men and women from all walks of life to see our country rise from its ashes. I urge you to grasp even more the essence of who we are as a people and that you never stop seeking lessons from our past to further understand how some key aspects of our Rwandan values are meant to guide our vision towards a prosperous nation. It's imperative that you learn to embrace your leadership abilities from earlier on, and that you do not allow your young age to deter you from stepping into the light to become a key player in the development and prosperity of our nation. I would like you to, th to also think of someone who can hold you accountable to, uh, your, uh, to your actions, because after all, we are each other's keepers. Young men and women, bavugango igihe gitakaye cyangwa igihe cyatakaye nikigaruka. Igihe cyanyu rero ni iki? Nta muto muri mwe wo kuba tashobora urugamba rwo kubaka igihugu cyacu kuko mwahawe ibuye ryifatizo n'aba n'aba banjirije baduhaye iki gihugu. The moment, the moment is now, and we all must seize it. Esteemed audience, as I conclude my remarks, allow me to share once again these words by the late uh, Cyprien uh, Rugamba in his poem. Na zivuze kensha riko na sanze na zivuze na zibgiye rubiru komi diaspora. Nda hamia kwa namu muri bench mukumbwa kwa muta. Aya magamba muta ya zin habanu mwa na ya subiramo. Ravugati urumvesha mi na shibutse. Uza sena nje urenze ho unsumje nda bigu sabi. Usozi byanjye kandi uterure ibyawe mwana wanjye gutunga gutunganya utwaza Umuco mwiza wakureze ntugatume udindira ubyabandi gutoranya ibyiza ibifutamye ujugunye 
niba kandi urabukwa iby'abandugata urwo wambaye ntumeho anza vuga ati uwangu muco wa mubyaye asa nishami ryihakana aho ryatoshye umwana mwiza no muvuga ivuko ryiza rya mubyaye agahora arisingiza I hope today's conversations will leave you with a renewed sense of commitment towards seeking excellence in all that you do as you ask yourselves if you are doing everything it takes with everything you have as we build the kind of strong systems that will outlive us. I thank you all for your kind attention and wish us all fruitful discussions.